I was so appalled at the fact that she never looked at me for the whole 30 minutes and just read a list of questions out to me. That's what they do. And when I did, when I couldn't, because you can't, they're often like, they were kind of like almost yes and no answers. I go, well, so I don't, well, and she was a bit irritated because I couldn't give an answer. I'm thinking, I'm suffering in the bouts of depression and you're irritating with me because I'm struggling to find a word. And I got up and left halfway through. When I started mine, I said, oh, she's depression. I'm like, I haven't got a fucking clue. Absolutely. That's you wouldn't I be mean, there if you knew you have any I'm angle here. on it, would it? Absolutely, <laughs> that's the point. And they give you a thing like, a questionnaire, and it's like one to ten, and you've got to pick a number. You have one of those cards. Oh, nice. yeah. 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 They're nothing but you and Sally. How's your depression worth, uh, today? How's your depression today? Do you know what I hate as well? Do you know what I hate as well? Are you going to every bloody where you go? They've even given them to me in the other class. And the question is, in the last two weeks, how often do you have suicide? And if you answered too often, it's like it's scary. Yeah. If you take the wrong it's box, done. you're in the arbor. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you don't want to tick those because you think, well, if the thing happens too so bad, they're yeah. going to carry me away. Yeah. You don't, you don't you've never got give a family to look after, or you've got a job. All the fear then is built up, um, so, and you end up yeah. going out worse. Than and that's you it. Were How honest are people really on for? They never yeah. Yeah. But yeah. when you have a conversation like this, people generally tend to be a lot more well, yeah. honest. A lot more yeah. honest. I have a CPM. Um, she's okay. I could bring that up and she'll call around. Uh, doctor, psychiatrist. The times when I find it really hard, which no one particularly understands in the mental health unit, is when I'm more vulnerable on my own. Yeah. And I have to attack a bit then. And I'm thinking, how do I get over this? Try to fight over the voices to try and get to care. So they put me in a little tablet for the evening. That's their yeah. answer though, isn't it? Yeah, just mm. give you some of those. More medication. Yeah. The, absolute, the absolute irony in all this is, you've got all these very important, big wig professional people, psychiatrists, and yet you offer the solution of what you really need, which you're clearly not getting, is that you just need somebody that you can generally talk yeah. to, mm. feel, yeah. feel connected in your art with. Yeah. And all these people could do that with you, but they don't. They don't. And then it's human connection, which yeah. is the first part of telling a good story. You've got to connect with people, yeah. and then you can share a story, and then everybody learns from that story and feels better. And that's the, that's what Freud found yeah. 100 years ago, why we're still not doing that. We're doing and everything else but it. It's and a lot of it, like you just said, goes back to we all need to be loved. Absolutely. And we all need a hope. Yeah.